Wine tasting in California is on everyone's bucket list, but it's not too easy to do with kids. Or is it? Yeah, we don't believe you have to wait until the kids have flown the nest to have awesome travel experiences. We've come to Sonoma County, just 45 minutes north of San Francisco, to show you just how it can be done. And so much more. Including going on safari, whale watching, redwood forest exploring, epic drives, lazing on the Russian river, and many more vintage experiences. Let's go. So we all know San Francisco has some amazing sights and tourist attractions. But did you know you can upgrade your city break to a Californian adventure by crossing the Golden Gate Bridge and heading north? Sonoma County is just 30 miles from San Francisco and it boasts stunning ocean views, ancient forests and countryside charm. Sonoma's world-famous wine region is a huge draw, but we're going to show you there's much more to this county than alcoholic grape juice. Having said that, we're going to start with a visit to a vineyard. Napa Valley is well known for its wine, but it's also known to be quite snooty, so going to a wine tasting session with kids wouldn't be an option there. Sonoma though is much more laid back. They have loads of wineries that welcome children. Our background is a farming background. So, you know, people here are so unpretentious. We are so down to earth. So go into a wine tasting room and they are so happy to see you. And they include the kids in everything. We have even some uh, playgrounds on some wineries for kids. We've come to the Francis Ford Coppola Winery, which is just north of Santa Rosa. And you've guessed it, there's only one person with that name. The Godfather director bought the vineyard here in 2006 and it opened four years later. Inside is a mini museum with costumes, movie props including Don Corleone's desk and it's even home now to some of his Oscars. Coppola wanted to make the winery a family experience. Well, Francis wanted to make sure that we had a location that everyone in the family could enjoy. So we have wine tasting, we have restaurants, uh, we have different activities that both uh, young and old can enjoy. We have a swimming pool that is somewhat unique for a winery to have during the summertime. And certainly that's something he wanted to see families with children enjoying the facility. The pool area has been really well thought out, even including signs which show that children are meant to be here. Our kids loved finding a book and hanging out in the teepee. But the pool is where it's at. If you want to splash out in every sense of the word, you can hire a cabine, which includes games for the kids and drinks for the adults. Does Francis ever come around here at all? Oh, Francis is here all the time and sometimes people recognize him and sometimes he's here and people don't even know they're sitting right next to him. Time for some wine tasting, starting with the kids. On Sundays, they get to sip from a non-alcoholic menu. Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Daniel in Guest Services. Uh, you guys ready? We want to go ahead and do a uh, tasting of different juices. I want you guys to kind of guess uh, what they are. Okay. Be careful though, they can become cultured very quickly. I'm getting hints of Chardonnay. Juniper and Jasmine. Cheers. Cheers, darling. Right, our turn to try just a couple of the 40 wines that are produced here at the vineyard. So, we've never done a tasting before. What happens? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to taste some wines here. Uh, what we want to do is try and get some aromas. All the grapes are grown here in California and specifically here in Sonoma County where we have uh, so many microclimates we can grow virtually anything here 
from anywhere in the world as long as we can get water to it. Is there a correct way to drink it? Or Yeah, what you want to do uh, with when you're wine tasting <laughs> is you want to hold by the stem. Okay. Okay? And when you hold by the stem in the glass, you're not warming up the wine because you want it to be at the right temperature. And the first thing you want to do is you want to uh, swirl it a little bit in the glass. You're doing a couple things there. You'll, the legs. Uh, yeah, you'll see the legs. If it's a higher alcohol content, a higher viscosity, and you have a nice clean glass, you'll get legs running down the side of the wine. Now put your nose deep into it, just out on the outside of it, and sniff. And that's when you start getting different <laughs> scents. Mm. What smell do you get off of it? Grapes. <laughs> Great. It's grapes with a strong hint of alcohol, right? <laughs> I'm really good at this. Yeah. I, I practice a lot at home. Yeah. yeah, that's good. What percentage of it is smell, do you think? What percentage is the taste? Uh, well, it's, you know, all the senses are involved in wine tasting. The sense of smell, the sense of taste, the sense of touch. And when you uh, put your glasses together in, in a toast, like so, even the sense of hearing is involved. I'd have this one with a Yorkshire pudding. Done. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So thank you very much. That was awesome. It was what my great pleasure. Experience and to do it in a thank you for coming to visit Coppola. We ended up having a really good long chat with Ron. So if you'd like to watch an uncut version of our interview, we'll put up a clickable link at the end of this video. After a day of luxury, the next morning we were ready to explore. First up, whale watching at Bodega Bay. Sonoma County is lucky enough to have 55 miles of coastline as well as the fertile countryside. It even boasts the leg of Highway 1. And if you're 80s kids like us, stop off at Goat Rock Beach, which is where the final scene of The Goonies was filmed. I only found out when I got back home I was gutted. We didn't make that mistake with another famous film location though. On your way to Bodega Bay, make sure you stop here at the Potter Schoolhouse. You already know why, don't you? If you don't recognise it, this is from Hitchcock's The Birds, which was filmed all around Bodega Bay. Come along and you can recreate scenes like this. Bodega and its bay were used for several scenes in the movie. For whale watching, we drove to Bodega Head, which has panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean. So officially the best time to see whales out here is from November to January and also in the springtime, so we've missed it a bit. But apparently you should be able to be lucky and see whales at any time of the year. So we're doing our best to feel the luck and to spot one, fingers crossed. I'm not looking for whales. I'm looking for mermaids with dolphins. Like in We almost gave up hope until a couple of locals told us that a pod live here all year round. They let us borrow their binoculars so we could see the whales spouting. We saw a bunch of little spouts and them spouting at the water and we didn't actually see the whale, but we did see lots of um, sprays and spouts and it was really, really cool. So we did see the whales. It, some bit, so it was really, really cool. Yeah, it was mind blowing. If the chance to spot magnificent wildlife in the water isn't enough for you, just 20 miles away in Guerneville is where you can see 1,000-year-old redwood trees at Armstrong State Reserve. This fire-resistant wood was a favourite of lumberjacks during the gold rush, so much so that 95% of California's redwoods have gone forever. 
Luckily, the remaining 5% are being preserved, with state forests like this one, which was started by Colonel James Armstrong in the 1870s. So it's $10 to get into the park and you can drive around the woods here, get out of your car and take some photos next to the big trees. But actually, if you park on the right hand side, you can get in there for free just before you go through the cashier's booth. It's only a mile and a half long for a hike. It's actually much better just to walk around. If you feel guilty about not paying the $10 to get in, pay it at the booth and then come back round and do the trails. It really isn't worth taking the car through. Make sure you pop into the visitor's centre to pick up a treasure map for a unique tour of the forest for kids. Because it's like a treasure hunt thing. There's like really big trees. There's lots of things you can climb on. And it's got energy for kids. They can like run around and see stuff. So it's really fun for kids. Just down the road from the Redwoods is a great place to cool down after a long walk. The Russian River is a hundred miles long and got its name from when the Russians colonized the region at the turn of the 18th century. It's here in Guerneville where the river begins to wind its way out to sea that the gentle flowing current is enjoyed most by locals and tourists. One of the coolest things to do around here on a hot day is laze around the Russian River. You big kids can sit on an inflatable with a beer in your hand while the little kids jump and splash and play all day long. Like us, you've probably worked up an appetite now, but you won't have to travel far to get some fantastic local food. Just inside the Safeway car park in Guerneville is a burrito truck. It's outside every evening, and when Americans are queuing for food, you know it's going to be good. That was totally worth the wait. If you've got room, cross the road to the town's old bank. It was built in 1921, but left derelict in the mid-1980s, until it opened its doors again three decades later. Now it's home to an ice cream parlour and artisan bakery. The original vault is still here too, and you can go inside to record your visit in a unique way. Stay at the Flamingo Hotel in Santa Rosa for another retro experience. In its 1950s heyday, they used to say it was the only place to stay north of the bay. Movie stars like Jane Mansfield were often found sunning themselves by the pool. There are big renovations planned here soon, but as the hotel was named an historic landmark in 1996, you can be sure that its Art Deco designs and pool will be here to stay. Next, it's time to see Sonoma's wild side. Welcome to Safari West in Sonoma County. Have you ever wanted to go on safari in Africa without leaving the USA? Well, this is your chance. More than 90 species of wild animal roam across the 400-acre enclosure. This is not a theme park with trams and TV screens. This is as real as it gets outside of Africa. We've chosen to do our safaris this way because uh, this is what you do in Africa. You get in a small car, you go out with a guide. All of our guides have been well trained in, in the natural history of what you see. Um, and we're trying to give you that same experience of a game drive somewhere in Africa. Right, enough talking. Time to jump aboard a vintage Jeep for our guided tour of the Sonoma Serengeti. I really enjoyed 
enjoy going on the safari. It was very fun because I could go up at the top. Kids under four can't go on the tour, so if you've got a baby or toddler, there's a walking tour where you get up and close to big cats and beautiful birds. If this experience wasn't unique enough for you, there's also this. One of the best things about staying here is you can sleep in one of these amazing safari huts that are right next to all the animals. Glamping here is another authentic safari experience, with tents imported from Botswana. All of your home comforts are here though, including electricity, running water and even a bathroom with a shower. It's a perfect way to finish a memorable trip to Sonoma County. My favourite bit was that it was um, actually really kid friendly, so I got to do the things I always wanted to do like wine tasting and touring around and seeing the vineyards and things like that but actually the kids were having fun too so I didn't feel like it was a trip for me or a trip for them I felt like we all got something out of it. It was all just so varied as well one day we were on safari another day we we're whale watching there's so many different things and flavors that you got there which I don't think that's very often you can get all of that yeah. in one place so would you guys like to go back? Yes Yay! definitely. We will be back! Bye! Bye. For more info or to plan your own trip, head to SonomaCounty.com. As promised, here's the unedited video from our wine tasting experience. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit like and subscribe as it really helps get more people to watch our stuff. Until next time, happy travels!